Look at this, guys. Looking out the window, you literally cannot see a thing. It is just, oh my god. So today we're off for another spontaneous adventure. About 10 hours ago, I hit up my good friend and neighbor Mitch, saying we should go spend three days and two nights at Mantra Blanc because there's rumors going around that apparently on Christmas Eve, December 24th, we're going back into lockdown. So this might be our only chance to get out and ride on the mountains this year and I'm not gonna miss it. So I spent the last couple hours packing things up. I'm pretty much ready to go. We just gotta load up Mitch's car and we got a five and a half hour drive ahead of us. So let's get into it. Guys, we finally made it to our Airbnb after a six hour drive. The drive honestly wasn't too bad, but six hours takes a toll on anyone. But we're here at Chateau Beauvillain and uh, we're just gonna go check in, so I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, sorry. That's bad. My name is Lena, it's a pleasure. Evan, nice to meet you. Some kind of 007. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's just what I usually go by. Thank you, sir. Perfect, thank you. Guys, we finally made it to our room. We're just gonna unpack our things quickly and then I'll give you a nice little tour of the place. All right guys, so we're settled in. Just cracked a cold one. I'll give you a quick little tour of the place. So first thing here is the first room with a king bed. Pretty nice, but poorly lit. And you got a nice uh, private washroom. Not too bad. Fridge, kitchen. Another washroom. And then we got a pull out couch here. We got a gas fireplace here. And then this pulls out to a bed as well. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and then there's a little balcony here. None of the hot tubs are open or anything because of COVID. I'll show you that tomorrow. But yeah, we're just gonna have some drinks and relax for a bit. So it's about midnight now. We've crushed a few pints, maybe one too many, but we want to be the first ones on the hill tomorrow. So we're gonna head to bed now. I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. Morning guys, it is an absolutely like a beautiful morning here in Montreal Blonde. We got some fresh powder last night. I honestly think this is gonna be one of like the best days of snowboarding I ever had. What up Mitch? What's up, bud? Check this out guys. Look at these conditions, man. Literally perfect. We're just gonna get ready and hit the slopes. Alright guys, we're all packed up and ready to head out for today. Let's get into it. Look at this guys, aren't these conditions just perfect? I'm so hyped to get on the hill right now. We got about a five minute drive to the gondola, so let's get into it. Yeah, you put a 
like those beers, so. All right, guys, we're all packed up. We finally made it to the hill, ready to hit the slopes. The conditions are looking perfect. The top of the peak, you can't even see it right now. It's all in the clouds, so I'm super stoked to get up there. Right now, we're gonna hop on uh, the Soleil chairlift and then take it to the gondola where we get our lift tickets, so. Swing it, eh? Dude, with my big bag, I almost got pushed off forward. <laughs> All right, guys, we're finally on the first chair lift of the day. Um, we got to go ahead to where the gondola is to pick up our lift tickets, so we're heading there now, and then we're going to go explore and have a good adventure on the mountain. Let's get into it. All right, guys, first half run of the day. Time to head to the gondola. These conditions are perfect. Feels good to be back out here. There's the gondola to the top. I thought it was going to be icy today, but this is mint. What a perfect first run. That was great. All right, so we got our lift tickets. We're in line for the gondola right now, but the line is actually surprisingly long. It's probably gonna take us 30 minutes to get up, so I'll see you guys when we get in the gondola. All right, guys, so we're finally on the gondola. I know this morning's kind of been scattered and all over the place, so I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but the adventure begins now. We got our lift tickets. We're heading to the peak deep into the clouds, I'm stoked, let's go. Look at this guys, looking out the window, you literally cannot see a thing. Guys, we finally made it to the peak. Look at this. We're just completely in the clouds. You can barely see in front of you. This is just insane. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. So we're heading over to the Soleil side right now because uh, usually when I'm here, the Soleil side's my favorite. They have some of the best runs um, and the lines usually aren't too bad. So what makes it even better, it's literally zero degrees. Like soon I'm gonna be snowboarding in a hoodie because it's so hot. Like this is insane, guys. All right, let's buckle up and get out there. All right, we're all buckled up, ready to get into our first runner today. Let's get into it. All right, so as you can tell, you can barely see on the runs right now. Visibility is very bad, um, but we're gonna make the best of it and send it. Yo, this is the back country right here, eh? These are the runs we usually rip. But they're closed now for the season. But f these are the best. All right, let's get into it. Visibility's not great. Hopefully I don't slip out with the camera on my hand. <laughs> Here we go, buddy. Holy, let's go. First run of the day, baby. I'm so happy right now, guys. You don't even understand. This is life. Hey, Mitch. What do you think, buddy? Yeah! <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Wow. Like I was saying, the visibility is very bad, but the conditions are still great. The snow is nice. A little icy, but it's all right. Low? Psh, not me. Bro, I fucking yeah, me too. <laughs> well, looks like I was wrong about uh, the Soleil side here. Usually when I'm here, there's no lines. Look at it right now. Yep, that's another way. But whatever. <laughs> what a great first run, man. It doesn't get much better than that. The visibility isn't the greatest when we're up there, but uh, the lower you get, the better it gets. Mitch had to stop halfway through. There he is, making his way down now. His feet were getting sore. Mine were too as well, I'm not gonna lie. It took seven minutes to get down that first run, but let's get back in this chairlift and get right back up there. How was that first run of Montreal, buddy? Exhausting. <laughs> that means good. 
We're off for the second run of the day, guys. First run was pretty perfect. Met shot a few spills. But how you liking it, buddy? How you liking Trump Blanc? Nope. Awesome. No fun. All right, we got one run down, 42 more to see, so let's get into it. So we ripped a few runs. We went down the north side, the south side, the Soleil side. So we pretty much hit every side so far. The north side is just complete ice, so it's nothing too special. I don't know if we'll ride too much there. Um, but we're just grabbing a quick bite, and we're going to get back on the hills and probably ride a lot of the Soleil side. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this poutine. Hope you can eat, because I'm only going to have a few. Yeah, good thing we didn't get our own. All right, guys, we just finished that poutine, hit the spot. Um, we're about to head back out on the hill and ride until the place closes, so let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be using this chairlift instead of the gondola, because the lines are a lot shorter, as you can tell, so let's get up there. So good call taking that chairlift instead of the gondola because we got up here in like not even five minutes. So back on the slopes guys for another couple hours. Let's get it. All right guys, so this chairlift only takes us halfway up the mountain. We have to go to another chairlift to get to the peak. So let's head over there. Yeah, it's right, right here, eh? Okay, this is brutal somehow I lost Mitch on the connection to the other chairlift I have no idea where he is he's not answering his phone so I don't know what to do now there's no way I'm gonna be able to find him do I keep riding go up the chairlift or I don't even know 20 minutes later there he is look at him yo All right, so we're heading back down the Soleil side because the conditions are the best by far. Uh, yeah, let's rip it, guys. It is actually snowing a little lightly, too. Hopefully my DSLR doesn't break today because it's getting pretty wet. Oh, let's cut in front of all these people here. Holy, a lot of people. Jesus. Cut in front of everyone. Ew. buddy <laughs> now that's the funniest thing you guys are gonna see karma at its finest I guess I gotta wait for him make sure he's all right <laughs> he just ate it so hard 
<laughs> it's freaking, it's goggles, it's hot, everything came flying off. Oh, Mitch. Let's see if we can get him falling again. Don't go down again. Look it back at you. <laughs> Little Ooh, Let's go. I love to see it. Get them out here, young guys. Wow, another great run. The Soleil side is actually really good. There's a little bit of ice, it's not too bad, but almost there, bud. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> tough run for Mitch, tough run for Mitch. Tough run for you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, that looks like, it was like the video looked like Karma at his finest. You come by with your camera and then you just fall right in front of me. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I've been saying, the Soleil side is definitely the best side, has the best conditions. It's a little icy, but it's not too bad. Um, but we're actually gonna be heading to the north side right now, which had the worst conditions. It was super icy, but there was a super cool photo spot with the mountains in the background that we wanted to get. So we're gonna head there now and snap a few pictures. Go this side. All right, so we're heading down the north side, expert only. It should say figure skaters only because this whole run's ice. Into the abyss we go. Let's go. I'll show you what I'm seeing. So, this is what we're dealing with, guys. Very low visibility. It's snowing a bit, so. Maybe the conditions are a bit better right now, but this run is super icy. Here's the ice. Wow guys, this run is nuts. Zero visibility, icy to shit. Gotta pull the hockey skates out to rip this run. Wow. Wow, these conditions are up. Ooh. Well, I'm risking it for the best kick, guys, because if I were to fall at any time, I haven't fell in a long time, but if I were to fall, it would definitely be on this run because it's fucking rough. Is Mitch still behind me? Good. Oh, it's a little flat streak. Come on. Phew. But you know what? Let's go through some uh, little side country pow here. Ew. Ew, ew. Whoa. Oh, what do we got? A little jump here? Ew. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the photo spot here. Um, I'm gonna pull out my long lens, but you see those mountains in the background? It's gonna make for a really cool shot. I'll show you how they turned out. All right, guys, so we got the shots. They turned out awesome, as you guys can tell. Now it's time to get back down this icy run and keep grinding, because we only have uh, about two and a half hours left of the runs, and then the chairlifts are closed, so let's get into it. Alright guys, no more north side for us. Way too icy. It's not even fun to be honest. Um, yeah, things are going good. What time is it? Two something? Two, yeah, two ten. We got like an hour and a half left of riding. Just gonna make the most of it. Probably just do uh, two or three more runs down the Soleil side and then probably wrap it up coming down near the gondola. So hopefully it goes well. And go home and crush some beers.
All right, guys, we're at the peak for one final time. We're gonna hit up the gondola side. Let's get into it. All right, guys, final run of the day. Let's make it a good one. Ew. Oh God, it's windy. Holy shit. Hopefully the mic's not ruined right now. Wow, it's windy. I can barely make it down. All right, guys, made it back to the village. What a beautiful day of riding. Let's make our way back to the car now. All right, on this little gondola that goes over the village, takes us right to the parking lot. We're pretty sore, so if it saves us from walking, it's good for me. Wow, it's beautiful though, eh? Yeah. Packed up. Great first day of riding. We're gonna get back to the house, shower, get some food in us. I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, so we're back at the room, all showered up, just relaxing now. We ordered some food, some nice wood oven pizza. Look how good that looks. So I think I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm gonna head into the village and do a little exploring. Nice and thin, pepperoni, green peppers, little uh, well done. It's perfect, perfect. All right guys, so I just finished up my pizza. It was perfect, definitely hit the spot after a long day of riding. Mitch is actually sleeping right now. He was super sore, so he's not gonna be joining me, but I'm gonna head into the village for like 40 minutes, just explore, shoot some videos for a bit. I'll take you guys along with me. I'm gonna head over to the lobby right now because there's a free shuttle bus that leaves from here, so I'm gonna go check that out. It wasn't too crowded today? No, it wasn't too bad. The Good gondola way. line is always long, but everything else is all right. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. I appreciate it, man. You're very yeah, nice. Sure, thank you. Oh. Thank you, brother. Sure. I appreciate it, man. Good yeah, I'll call you soon. All right guys, so the shuttle just dropped us off at the village. Guy was super nice, great shuttle driver. Um, but it is a lot colder than I thought. It is freezing, so I don't think I'm gonna stay too long, but we're gonna go explore the place and I'll show you guys around. So this right here is actually the main club in Montreblanc. We've had some good times here throughout the years. Um, we're just gonna walk up this main strip here and I'll kind of just show you guys around. All right, so this is the start of the main strip here where you got all your restaurants and gear shops and just random stores. This pizza place right here is actually really good. Definitely recommend it. So this main strip is really nice, really pretty looking. Um, that Christmas tree right there is the center of uh, the village. We'll head there next. But yeah, this is just a rough idea of what the main strip looks like. 
Oh man, it is really cold though. I think tomorrow's gonna be a brutal day. It says it's gonna get down to minus 16. Right now it's only minus four or five and it's freezing. And this is the main square. My camera's not the best in low light, so it doesn't really do it justice, but it is very beautiful here. And then the mountain is just right up there. I gotta say, man, I really do love this village. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really weird being here during COVID. I've been here probably 12 times in the past, and this place is usually just packed. Being here when it's this empty, it's a strange feeling, but it's low-key kind of nice. Look at this right here. Actually, you got uh, the groomer running down the hill right now. It's freshening the tracks for tomorrow. Just feels good being out here breathing in the fresh air, man. I gotta say, this has been a strange year, but just being here with the Christmas vibes, it's kind of comforting and just feels right. Man, it is chilly. Tomorrow's gonna be a rough one. I honestly don't even think this camera will be able to make it on the hills tomorrow. I might be filming with the GoPro or iPhone, so we'll see what happens. We'll see. All right, so I know Blue Mountain has them, and Mont Tremblant and Blue Mountain are built by the same people. So I'm trying to find a fire pit because I'd like to warm up and stay out here a little longer. So I'm gonna see if I can find an outdoor fire pit. That's our mission right now. All right, so I think our best bet of finding a fire pit would probably be by the skating rink I'd say. That's the only activity that you can do at night and people get cold while doing it, so maybe there's a fire pit there. You know, it's actually funny. I'm not self-conscious when I vlog, but I prefer not to vlog around people. But I just realized that these are all rooms, so I'm walking back and forth doing takes and people are probably looking out the window saying, look at this lunatic running around with his camera. <laughs> oh, what is that? No way. I found fire, guys. <laughs> right on. Alright guys, it's pretty cold. I don't think I'm going to stay here much longer, so I'm going to call the shuttle to come pick me up now. Hi, I'd like to get uh, picked up by the shuttle now. I will be there in about six minutes. Perfect, thanks buddy. See you soon, bye. All right, well the heat was nice. Time to get out of here. Let's make our way back to the shuttle. All right guys, well that was a nice stroll through the village. I'm definitely glad I came out here. After that pizza, I was pretty tired and sore from riding. I was ready to go to bed, but I'm glad I came out. I'm gonna head home, head to bed, and we've got another good day of riding tomorrow. There he is, perfect time. That's good. Hey buddy, thank you, thank you. Alright, good morning everyone. Just got out of the shower, starting to pack everything up now because we have to check out of this room today. Um, it's crazy how much of a mess you can make in just a few days, but I think the weather is pretty terrible actually. It's like minus 16, but I just looked outside and there's a little bit of a uh, sun and the sky looks a little blue. So, I don't think the visibility will be an issue today, but it's going to be cold. So, we're going to have to bundle up in multiple layers and hopefully we're not going to die. But there's zero wind too, so it makes things a little better. Also, a great way to keep warm during these conditions is do your first layer all spandex. So I'll put this on, then put a couple layers on top, and it keeps you nice and insulated. All right, guys, I just went outside to heat up the car a bit. We're pretty much finished packing now. It's honestly not too cold, so I think it's going to be a good day of riding. We're just going to go check out, so I'll see you guys on the slopes. All right, on route to the slopes. The sun is shining. I think it's going to be a good one today, guys. So we're having some uh, troubles finding parking. All the lots seem to be full. Um, we just pulled up to another one that uh, you need to have a permit for. So 
we're gonna try and find something that's relatively close but the conditions are looking great um, the peak is clear this is the first time we've been able to see the peak from the bottom this whole trip uh, yeah should be a good day of riding all right guys we finally found a parking lot we're all geared up ready to hit the slopes a little cold but there's no wind so I think it's gonna be a great day of riding let's get into it it's on the first chair lift of the day heading out to the summit right now the conditions are actually all right. I'm pretty layered up, so I'm not feeling the cold, but my only concern is my camera. I hope this cold doesn't take a toll on that. But that being said, I think I'm gonna shoot more on the GoPro today to save my camera a bit. So we'll see how that works out. But one good thing though, it's not foggy at all. So the shots will probably turn out a lot better today and you guys will get a better feel of what the place looks like. You can see the background, you can see everything now. So it's gonna be good. Go straight. Alright, first runner of the day. Let's get into it. Uh-oh. Looks like we're gonna be pushing. Brutal. Brutal. Should have went the other way. <laughs> Those runs dropping. Ugh. Great first run, eh Mitch? <laughs> Just a little pushing to get there. Woo! Pull up right here again. Yeah, I'm gonna buckle up. So now we made it to our first chairlift. Time to get up to the summit and get a first real run in. snowy at the top but we can finally see so we're gonna head down to Soleil side and uh, rip toboggan for the first time in the trip with some visibility so let's go first run of the day let's go shoo finally could see got some nice fresh snow Woo! wow this is awesome now we actually got some visibility so you Still a little icy, but not terrible. Oh, and it's not even that cold, man. My beard's starting to freeze, but it's not bad. Shoo! <laughs> Welcome to paradise, guys. First run, can't ask for much more, man. The conditions are way better than yesterday. There's no ice, it's fresh snow. It's just a little more cold. I don't know if you guys can see, but look at this, my beard is completely frozen. All right guys, back on the chairlift, heading up for the second run of the day. Um, I'm actually gonna... <laughs> I'm actually gonna put this big camera down for now because it's a hassle to snowboard down with it and I just want to enjoy this run. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on my head and take you guys with me that way. Let's go.
All right, guys, back on the big camera for a bit. The GoPro died after like three, four runs because of the cold. Mitch is just in the chalet warming up and uh, sending some messages quickly. So I'm gonna meet up with him after this run. We're gonna head down the north side right now. So I hope that uh, GoPro footage turned out all right, but I guess if you saw some GoPro footage before this, it turned out half decent. Um, but the conditions are great today. It's so much better than yesterday. I'm absolutely loving it right now. All right, let's rip it. Damn, this camera is a trooper, man. I can't believe like the water, the cold hasn't done anything to this camera. Knock on wood, don't want to jinx it, but I'm so happy with this right now. Hopefully the footage turned out all right. I know this video's kind of been all over the place, but I hope you guys are enjoying this, man. Because I sure am. on the chairlift. Time to go meet Mitch up at the summit. Ready to roll? All right, we're reunited with Mitch. Time to head down to Soleil side. Let's get it. Pro tip number one, if the hills are really icy and kind of choppy, stick on the sides, and this is where all the powder gets pushed to. Look at that. You just gotta shred it, because in the center it's all icy and that's where everyone's carving, but if you hang out on the sides, you get some nice fresh pow. So, that's Lindy's tip of the day. And then you also have those little kickers that I was talking about earlier, which is really fun. Get the ape. Mikael, como se va? Ew. Shoo! Oh, the snow is falling down so nice. All right, guys, we're pretty much at the chairlift now. So, I'm gonna put uh, the camera down for a bit again and just enjoy the last couple runs. So, I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, so we got a little carried away. We've probably ripped five or six runs since I picked up the camera last. But we're on the gondola right now, heading up to the summit for our very last run of the trip. Um, once again, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm just gonna enjoy this last run. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. It might be super long and all over the place, but if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Remember, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time.